Oh, these are gonna suck. Hello, on today's episode of Dirty Sarah's, I'm about to stick my head in a place that I, I don't want to stick my head. If you're new and you wanna get caught up on what I am talking about, up above my head is a link to why popsicles don't make good aircraft. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, this is done and ready for the cab to get transplanted over from the rusty frame. Oh geez, this thing doesn't move very easy. Oh, this part's not gonna be fun. Now that I got a fresh new core support that's rust free and everything's been painted and the rest of the engine bay is now rust free, I have to deal with all this down here. Luckily, like 80% of it is on the heat shields, which just come right off. Luckily, this truck will never see New Hampshire road salt again because I live in Arizona. So there's real no issue of the rust ever returning if I don't remove all of it because it would probably take like 500 years in this climate. But I'm gonna try to get this as nice looking as possible underneath here and remove as much of that metal cancer as I can. Look, I made a Dexter shower curtain to try to trap bits of shit from landing on the MR2. Don't worry about those big gaps up there, or that one right there, or the hole, or the fact that it doesn't go to the ground, or cover any of this over here. It'll work. Just happens today was the day that this particular individual forgot a hair tie. So I'm gonna wear my Sand People helmet. <laughs> okay. Dude, that actually works really well. Here, it's really hard to breathe in here. There's a nipple on the back. It's not too often you hear someone say that. It's supposed to provide you air. I'm not getting very much air in here. I'm out of breath. All right, here goes. Oops, I spit all of my lens. That sucked really bad. I had to go down to a face shield because I just couldn't breathe wearing that thing and now my lungs kind of don't feel the greatest. That's a lot of barnacles that came off the bottom of this truck. These shelves right here are what had the most big flakes on them that are falling off. But the metal is still really solid. There's no like even soft spots. So that's a huge plus. The corrosion was flaky, but nothing that's like structurally bad. I think what I'm gonna do now is take the wire wheel to everything to kind of get the rest of the little bits that the Ass Master Blaster 5000 couldn't take off. I forgot what that thing's called, Needle Scaler. And uh, yeah, that should do it. Was absolutely miserable. I feel like the inside of a robot's asshole right now. Since I got one of these on the other truck, I'm gonna remove it and just swap it out because the other one's not rusty. Oh man, it's absolutely spotless underneath where that heat shield was. That's amazing. That's cute. Both frames next to each other. All right, I got to uh, lay on the ground and pressure wash under this. The little time lapse you just watched took me about two hours. I hand scrubbed every square inch of this with a wire brush. Every last nook and cranny. Then it didn't really do much for the white scaliness. 
it looks like it's still there, but the chunks and stuff are gone. It's just ugly looking, that's all. I also took a degreaser to it just in case there was any like PB blaster or anything that splattered up or oil from the drivetrain that was in there. So it's degreased. <laughs> Here goes to making more bad life choices. Yay. That was absolutely miserable last night, standing underneath there. I kind of came to a conclusion. I need the cab off of the frame to be able to get all the nooks and crannies. And it's the next day. I only have time for a partial day of work today. Oh, this is gonna be miserable. Absolutely miserable. I don't like standing under this thing. Oh. I gotta pull the carpet out just in the corner so I can get to the hardware. The floorboards look really good underneath the carpet. Just a little bit of rust where the screws go through for this trim strip. Come on, there we go. Oh no, 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 no. And then keep the stink inside there. I don't need to smell that. Trim plate. Oh man, there is a popper doodle. Why? Yay! Came out unscathed. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's some chippy seeds. I have to clean under there. All right, let's spray this one down. And cover up the stink. Luckily the rears are way easier to get to. I don't have to depanel anything. The less I have to depanel, the better because that's the less rattles that may potentially develop. Because when I drove this thing cross country, nothing rattled inside here. Hey, that doesn't even look rusty. That one might come out really easy. I didn't think I need to put brake free on there. Okay. I've let that sit now for a little over an hour. So hopefully it's good enough. It seemed to be turning pretty easy up there. We'll see if it comes off. This is physically impossible for one human being to do this. I have to go ask someone next door if they'll come over here and hold the top of the bottom. Ready? Yep. I don't think you'll be able to hold it. Oh my god, stop! Yeah, told you. I think it needs to go against the door. I'll use my foot, maybe? <laughs> Alright, go. That probably hurts. I don't know if it's spinning or not. I'm turning the ratchet. Hold on, let me make sure the head's on good. It's going! Oh. Did it break? Crazy shit. Okay. Ready? I cannot believe. <laughs> How the hell? Yeah. That is amazing that that came off. Oh, these are gonna suck. All right. Maybe I can do these on my own without getting a second person since I can reach it. I can't believe that worked. Look at that. I don't think it shows up on camera, but the bolt's smoking still. It's the last day in this video, I promise. I'm gonna pull this cab off right now. I'm gonna do the seatbelt cable first. When I pulled this off the other cab, a lot of people thought this was a ground strap. It definitely is not. It holds one seatbelt anchor to the other seatbelt anchor and goes under this cross member in case you get in a car accident. It keeps you locked down to the frame of the truck. There you go. 
I want to lift it from up there on the radiator core support, but there's no real good place to put the swing arm. Right here makes sense because that's where the cab mount is at. That's about as good of a spot as I can get to. Just in case I added some small ratchet straps underneath the cab. It doesn't seem like it's gonna go anywhere though. It's pretty, I mean it's pretty sturdy on this lift. There you go. Oh geez, this thing is light now. Yeah, this is about as uh, sketchy as it looks. I mean, it's pretty sturdy on here and the ratchet straps will probably do almost nothing. Maybe. <laughs> so now it's time to go under here and sand. So the mini DA ended up being the tool of choice for this task. And I think I got pretty much every area underneath here uh, hit up with the DA with 80 grit and then all the big smooth surfaces I did with a red scotch bright. I'm not really worried about, ooh, dirt on my lens. I'm not really worried about any of the rust that's here getting any worse because the truck's in Arizona now, not New England. So it's way less of a threat here. But nonetheless, these areas up where the seam sealer is at, get this old seam sealer out of here. I'll replace it with some fresh stuff. But I want to use some rust converter in these cracks back here. Peel off. Ugh, there you go. Oh, good. It's not even really that rusty underneath here. It was just right at the front of it. Oh yeah, that's awesome. It's actually clean inside there. There's no rust on that part. Good. Well, this side's not nearly as bad. Get rid of the seam sealer over here, though. Peel. 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 I was debating whether or not I wanted to do the POR tonight, but I don't really want to hotbox my shop with chemical stink. So I'm gonna do it first thing in the morning. That way I can leave the doors open and aerate the shop while it dries. Splooge, wipe, 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 all day long. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Oh, I think this sounds, this is making me super nervous having this thing this high in the air. Body harness or Thelma cord? Hmm. Oh, that's satisfying. This is like such a good area to wipe. Oh yeah. There. I'm happy with that. It's all wax and greased. All scuffed up. Ready to paint over rust. 15 something, 15 times. So here it is, the whole entire purpose of this project to get the rusty bits taken care of. It's, it's done, it's, <laughs> it's done. This is so insane. Oh man, look at this. Just pounds of rust, just flakes. I got schmutt all over the corner of my nose. It's gross. I'm gonna get a trailer here tonight. Charlie's gonna help me haul this thing to the parts truck so I can put the parts truck bed and cab on top of that frame and make a complete unit once again. Someone might want it, I don't know. Look, it's like a mini truck. It's so low to the ground. This is weird. Hmm. Just in case, ooh, my stomach's growling. Just in case. Anyway, the next video, I'm gonna finish the underside of the cab up so I can drop it down on top of the frame and uh, 
start the tedious process of reassembly. I'm sure there's gonna be some bits here and there that I still don't have for this truck and I won't know until it's almost together, like a radiator. Still haven't ordered a new radiator yet. I was trying to find a brand new motorcraft one, but I couldn't. Anyway, and now I gotta do the detail. Paint correction and put the trim back on. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go wash my nose. That's got schmutt on my nose. It's gross. I'll wash more than just my nose, and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye!